All right, hello everybody. We're gonna talk about what's called the N-Queens problem. And for this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna use pawns uh, as queens as you, uh, because I need more than one of them. As, uh, as those of you who play chess know, uh, any pawn can become the queen anytime um, that uh, pawn wants to or when the pawn uh, makes it all the way across the board. So uh, the queen in chess is the most capable piece. Um, it is able to move anywhere in its column or in its row, uh, can go at any distance and attack uh, any any uh, opposing piece at any distance in any row or column or rank or file, um, as it's called in chess. And also it can move any distance and attack at any distance along uh, both of the diagonals. So it's a very capable piece. It's uh, the most powerful piece in all chess. Um, and what we're gonna talk about is this problem is gonna be how many uh, queens can you put on a chessboard of a certain size um, and have it so that they can all be placed and none of them can attack each other. So if we just sort of randomly place one here, you can imagine the placement of that queen could reach all of uh, the squares in its column, in its row, and all along its diagonal. So all of these uh, squares can be, or cells, or whatever you call them, uh, can be uh, reached by this one queen. So just placing that one queen in that location has eliminated all of these spots where you could place the next queen. And let's say we just grab another queen and we just place it in some new spot. Um, that would eliminate all of the ones in that row and in that column. We have a bunch of these poker chips here. Um, sort of visualize what's going on. And also along the diagonals, right? I don't want to forget any of these. We can grab another queen we can just keep trying to place them and see how many we can get on the board. That would be all the columns and rows. Let's get all of the spots along its diagonals that it can attack. And you see, we're very quickly running out of space. Let's just place one here. That would knock out those guys and along this diagonal and then that diagonal. I don't think I've missed any yet. Um, and then let's just place one here. I would get this guy, and then all of its diagonals are already gone. I can try to place one here. We can see we're sort of running out of space here. That one's gone. I think that's it. And I can place this one here. And that left us with, let's see, for this example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven uh, queens that we've placed. So we're going to talk about an approach. Uh, to uh, solving this, finding the maximum number that you can find on a board of a particular size, and hopefully uh, it'll be fun.